Hello everyone, Yasas. This is Matilda and welcome to Tilda's Cookbook. Today's recipe is for the most amazing and delicious chocolate ice cream. It is so simple to make, you can have it ready with only three ingredients and all you have to do is just wait for it to get cold. Everybody who'll try it are gonna love it. So let's see how to make it. I'm going to cut my chocolate in small pieces and put it in a metal or a Pyrex uh, bowl because we are going to um, melt it in a double bath. As soon as my water starts boiling, I lower the heat to medium to keep it on a low boil. And then I put my chocolate on it and slowly it starts melting. While my chocolate is melted and still hot, I'm going to add my milk, the condensed uh, sweetened milk, and start mixing until it gets nicely incorporated with the chocolate. While the chocolate is still hot, it's uh, easy to do it, and the two are blending together very, very nicely. Now we will let our chocolate cool down completely, it is very important, before we mix it with our whipped cream. Yeah. While my chocolate is cooling down, I had the time to cool down my bowl and the cream, because we need those to be very, very cold in order to make the whipped cream. And I'm gonna start mixing. My cream is ready. I want soft peaks. I don't want to make it too thick. And something that I wanted to mention is that um, I haven't added any sugar because we like it on the low end. But uh, feel free to add a couple of uh, tablespoons of powdered sugar if you want it a bit sweeter. I will add a few tablespoons of my whipped cream into the chocolate and mix it really nicely and quickly to get everything blended and this way our chocolate is going to become a bit more in a liquid form because at this point when it has cooled down it will be a little stiffer than before And while we're doing that, make sure to scrape the bottom of your bowl because the chocolate has the tendency to get stuck on the bottom. And see how it turns a bit more liquid form. I will add all the chocolate into my whipped cream. And now I'm gonna start mixing by folding all around until my chocolate is nicely blended with the whipped cream. It starts getting there. And this is the basic chocolate um, ice cream, which is absolutely delicious, but uh, feel free to add anything you want into it, like chocolate chips or caramelized nuts, I do hazelnuts sometimes. Anything you wanna put in there, it turns out fantastic. See what a beautiful chocolatey color it has and an amazing taste. So now I put it in a couple of uh, airtight glass containers. You can put it in metal ones if you want to. And if you don't have an airtight one, you can cover it uh, in contact with cling film. Give it a little tap just in case there's some air bubbles. Cover it up and put it in the freezer for six to eight hours minimum or overnight. I have left it overnight and let me show you how it turned. Look at this. Although my daughter um, already 
took a pick from the other bowl last night. It was really delicious. So let's give it a taste. See how nicely you can just scoop it out very easily. It's not hard. I knew my other scoop was not working properly, so I brought another one. But look at this. Look how nice it comes out. Really, really wonderful. Soft and yummy. Look at this, my friends. So let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. So creamy, so chocolatey. My friends, it's absolutely amazing. Really, really wonderful to have chocolate ice cream made at home this nicely. I'm sure your kids are going to love it. So give it a try. I'm sure you're going to be very, very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. I hope to see you back next time. Until then, happy ice cream making. Bye-bye, everyone.